Hello and welcome back to another Thoughts Per Episode, Bleach Taibu Edition. Uh, this is the episode where it all starts kicking off, hitting the wire, hitting the fan. We see the full invasion of the Quincy's into Serete and the captain's bothering them. Sorry this episode's a day late by the way, I know this comes out on a Tuesday normally. I had some stuff going on and for that reason it's probably going to be a shorter episode than usual as well. But I can't just not talk about this episode, come on. Now, my ear might be playing up here, but I feel like Kuriko and what's his face uh the one with a more memorable name than kuraku biakia they either have different voice actors or their voices have just changed over the course of years i don't know that might just be me being paranoid anyway in this episode various stone ritters got their introduction as we see flashes of their fights against the captains uh and also them just decimating the rank and file of the court guard squads which you don't want to be rank and file in an anime like bleach it's not gonna go well for you we got to see the quincy's using blutven <laughs> is that how you say it for the first time and i really like i really like everything they're doing with reishi in this version of the anime where it's it's all kind of like a sparkly blue. It really makes it easy to distinguish like the fact that while all of the Quincy's have different abilities, their abilities all draw from the same power source, which isn't something I really got from the manga. So that's nice because these new Quincy powers do feel a little bit. I mean, look, I'm not saying anything. All I'm saying is there is a reason why the Bleach subreddit banned the word asshole when this manga was first coming out. Literally, if you type the word asshole, uh, your comment got instantly removed, so keep that in mind going forwards. But yeah, their pa their powers are just straight up broken. They're out there. They can just be whatever they need to be. Who cares about possibility and what's possible in this universe? They can just, oh boy, you haven't seen nothing yet. But anyway, a large portion of this episode was dedicated to the introduction of the Stone Ritters and the initial skirmishes that take place. And the whole, they, can, they can't seal our Bankai. They can steal our Bankai, and we have still yet to really see the full extent of what happens with that. Although I'm sure you can probably guess. The whole Bankai stealing idea was super crazy to me when I first read it in the manga. It just seems so out there. Like, we've been taught throughout this entire manga that a Bankai is, like, intrinsically linked to, like, the soul of your Zanpakuto, and, like, being able to, like, talk to your Zanpakuto and, like, be a partner with it and everything. <laughs> And when the whole Bankai stealing idea first came into play, it really felt like they just, like, forgot all that and was just like, a Bankai is just a power that you can just grab from someone and take. Um, but, you know, I don't really feel that way anymore, but that's definitely my initial reaction to it back in the day. By the way, it was fun to see that moment with Byakuya where he said, like, hey, look, Renji, I'm going to use my Bankai. If they seal it, okay, use yours. Uh, because then we can learn how they seal them. It really showed Byakuya's trust in Renji's abilities and also his growth as a character because, I mean, th let's be real, Soul Society Arc Byakuya would never have fucking done that. Hitsugaya being like, Hironimaru, I can't hear anything from you, Hironimaru! Uh, that's definitely like, that's kind of like the voice acting I was expecting when I read the manga initially. I was like, oh, you know, <laughs> his actor's gonna ace this scene if they ever do it. Really kind of nails the horror of like, wait, hang on a minute, my it's not just my powers that have been stolen it's the other half of my soul i mean not physically that's not really how that works in bleach but you know what i mean like my soulmate, my 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 sword buddy my my heckin pointy stabby friend i like the build up where soul society starts as like we can deal with this and by the end of the episode we're like fuck we need ichigo we need the hero <laughs> of the story someone get ichigo that was that was really fun as well and of course the episode ends with ichigo's imprisonment um, it's not really a spoiler, uh, so I'm going to say it. You, you know how every Stern Ritter there uh, had a letter? Well, OP's letter is J, and I'm surprised they didn't mention it in this episode, because he's J for the Jailer, uh, because, you know, he he's meant to imprison Ichigo. So I'm, I'm kind of weirded out that they didn't put that at the end of the episode, because that's kind of where that belonged, but I guess they'll probably mention it next episode. It's not exactly a mind-blowing revelation. So yeah, the action's really starting to kick off. Uh, it's all still super pretty. I'm still, like, blown away by how good everything looks. Um, and it's nice to see, like, the Soul Reaper, uh, power colours and the, the, the Reishi colours, you know, contrasting with, like, the grey overcast colours of just Serete during the invasion. We also got some more soundtrack. We got Soundscape to a door, but it's not, like, or is it Arda? I never remember. Uh, but it's not, because someone typoed it in a very famous kind of, like, uploading of a soundtrack that people go and listen to on YouTube, so I can never remember which is the real version and which is the typoed version. Uh, but yeah. 
this one i think is the first soundtrack we've had so far that isn't like remixed it's just the bass ass soundscape to our door our door version uh and it doesn't really need to be remixed it's a fucking banger and if you don't know which soundtrack i'm on about it's the one that goes it's the shit's going bad and people are determined soundtrack that was introduced in i believe the huiko mondo arc uh but yeah uh, that's that's pretty much going to do it for my discussion of the episode today. I really enjoyed it. It was really fun. Uh, I'm not going to draw it out for too long now. Uh, so if you like this video, please leave a like. Uh, if you've got something interesting to say, leave a comment and enjoy this following blooper. Hello and welcome back to another edition of Thoughts Per Edition episode. Bleach episode, Taibu Bleach episode, edition episode. Fuck.